all these dudes Okay, 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 they riding waves Me, I'm up on the cruise, yeah, yeah You feel like me, then you got nothing to prove That's just my attitude I don't know who that is. I can't even read it. Can it's some old no, chicken scratch. That's, 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 that's Kyle. 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 Yes, yes. What is that? Dude, I messed up. You had to I, work. Buddy drew a circle and like filled it in like yeah. the test. Just don't do better make, than listen, that. Listen, listen. I want to read it. I messed up. I messed yeah, up. That, that looks like Braille, dog. It yeah. looks like you put it with a hammer and chisel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so sorry for the chaotic start to the ride. Can-Am decided at one we were going to do a group ride with Dustin Jones from S3 Power Sports, Asta Cruiser all the way from Canada, me, I know Colt's out here, and we probably got 50 machines with us. All right, Beaver Pond, we were out here last night. If you guys remember, we almost sunk the Renegade right here. Money. Ah, man, I'm sorry. All the Renegades out here today. Just hop in. Right, I'm about to rip. I'm about to rip. We got everybody moved up in here. Yeah, I'm about to soak Dustin's yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's a full pull. Dunked his whole snorkel. It just went completely under. <laughs> All right, I should probably chill out before I sink my sh <laughs> Guys, we're about to be dangerous. What we got going on here? Something about to jump? Hey, we're two bad influential people out here. We're going to break some sh <laughs> Damn, my man is ripping. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! That was fire! That was awesome! That was a good. Are we going again? Uh, oh, boys! Ride around, dogs! Oh, we're getting stuck. We are uh, not a safe trio. Walk it out. Dustin with his machine in the way again. You guys probably remember the last video we were out here hitting the reverse wheelie and hitting this hole. We watched two side by side. Talk about literally controlling chaos here today. This has just been so much chaos. I don't know whose bright idea it was to put us three together, me, Austin, Dusty. And, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of shocked. But I'll be honest, I'm kind of shocked we only sunk two machines so far. Almost sunk Lee's, but I don't think we're gonna ever sink this thing right here. Look at this. Hey, I think it's time for some reverse wheelies. I haven't seen anybody pull them out yet. Oh! <laughs> done with the group ride we're back here at the Can-Am booth so at the beginning of this ride me Dustin Austin Cruiser and Colt signed this helmet and we're actually raffling it away so we just gave away tickets got them out to everybody we're getting ready to see what the drawing is see who's the winner so reach in there pick one don't be looking okay it's for the helmet last number is 199 I got the end of 199 so that means I get it yeah. for real no way no look oh, yeah yeah look at it, it. oh yeah that's it. <laughs> 
Put it on right now. Put the helmet on. Put the helmet on right now. Yeah. Yeah. And then here. All right guys, so we just got done with Monday Nights 2024 down in Sabine ATV Park. We've made our way up here into Louisiana, checking out the S3 Power Sports shop. We just did a group ride for Can-Am with Dustin and Austin Cruiser and myself. And afterwards we got to talking and he said, dude, you gotta come on by, check out the shop and get the full Louisiana tour. So if you guys are wondering what S3 Power Sports is, it's basically a race shop, mud shop, build big units, a little bit of everything right in our industry. So pretty much super involved with Can-Am just like I am as myself. We got Dustin over here. <laughs> Normally the shop view starts with picking a pit bike out. So okay. we can grab any one. Is that how we're doing the tour? Or we can bike? do the walk around. Okay, we can do we the do walk them around. We do them both. We'll do the walk around. We'll save the pit bikes to the track in a little bit. Well, Welcome to the shop. And this started originally, we talked about like a little yep. one bay shop. You know, we moved over here, got this building, started kind of growing it, started figuring things out. And we're like you, we ride so much and hit so many events. <laughs> just stay breaking, stay yep, working yep, on stuff. Yep. So we were like, dude, I see what's breaking. Like I can make that stronger. We can yep. do this better. You know, this is the fabrication shop where we build custom cages, custom suspension, okay. nerf bars, bumpers. Like we do all the fab stuff here. Racks of Maverick R, A-arms back here. Okay. It looks like so you really taking that Maverick R and just launch with it. There's not many products out for the new Maverick R. Honestly, I haven't even driven one yet. We're supposed to. If you want a little bit of a sneak peek for some future videos, we'll be getting one here soon. The uh, the Maverick R is the big dog, man. And we were fortunate enough to have it before the release. And so yep. we had to build a race car before that car was ever even out. Okay, this goes a lot further back than I expected. Yeah, now we get into the cool stuff. This is gonna be the race shop, the custom shop. So you know we build full hey, turnkey listen, listen. race. What would it take to drop that oh, in God. my Defender? You sound like every customer that walks through is like, <laughs> how can I put this in my Outlander? You have, you have two, two of them, turbos. you won't miss one of them. That's true, I do have some spares, that's for sure. <laughs> so this is when our chassis roll over here and this is our custom chassis shop. So we literally are building full turnkey race cars that start with a torn down chassis like this one's partially built so it's not customers cars you're buying these cars oh you're no no these are all customer cars okay all these right here are customer cars so customers, and then they're customers. picking up a brand new car dropping it yeah. off and saying go for it all right so once they finish with fabrication come back from powder coat then they move over to the custom assembly area where they put everything together so this is everything from the full turnkey race cars okay. to just a trail riding rig a set of a arms on a renegade like yours this is a guy that raced king and hammers we're reprepping in his car. This is one of our fully assembled short X3 course. short course cars. So full sheet metal interior, like this car from top to bottom is full ready custom, to ready to race. So, so basically his only stock parts on here are this <laughs> and this yep. and that. Pretty well and that's it. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got uh, actually the one car that nobody's ever seen before that I haven't done anything. Zero, zero, one Maverick R. The oh. first Maverick R off of the assembly line. Nobody even knows I have oh, this car. Shoot. Yeah. Can we tell them? Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Zero so, miles. The you only haven't thing, even driven I it I haven't even driven it. I've only started the engine to make sure everything worked right and that's it. It's never been driven. Rolls it around. So this one's gonna get hung from the ceiling or something. I'll probably never drive it. Is that what zero one is in the side for? No, uh, well, when they first came out with Maverick R's, they put zero one number plates on them, but the production ones that they released to the public were uh, 50 for the 50th anniversary. And you just got a stencil out and did that yourself. Stop it. Right there. <laughs> zero, zero, one. Zero 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 one. Zero 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 one. You can't get more number one than that. Anyway. This could be in an auction in like 30 years. <laughs> so we got the first unit over here. Yeah. yeah. The, most, the most reliable unit you got. Still running some oh, The old Foreman 400. Listen how quick this thing starts. Oh, it's it's like... Boom, right away. How does it start like that every uh, time? Everybody started on one of these, everybody. everybody. This is where Mud Run started, a Thank Foreman you. four wheel Back drive. Back when 27s were big. Oh, dude, I remember a set of vampires just letting them eat. Thought we had some straight axle 27 yep. inch vampires. Thought you're doing something. Thought now you're, you're barely doing something with 32s. And then we always got some random personal projects. So it's Absolutely. like a 700 horsepower dirt track motor going into F100. It's just. I mean, it makes about sense. Not much to it, but that's the S3 yeah. shop. We still in Louisiana. I don't know if you realize that. And it's crawfish season, dog. So we I'm done looking at this work stuff. Let's go have cook. some fun and eat good. Let's go. Let's get to it. About to dump all that in. Sometimes they will freaking start uh, nipping at you and it 
hurt. You didn't even put it on the lobe? Oh, uh, <laughs> wait, move your hand, Ow. move your hand. He won't let go. <laughs> bro, quit messing with him, he's squeezing harder. You put him on the littlest, skinniest part, bro. Do him both, It's dude, not please. that bad, it's not that bad. It's not that good, you're no, it's bleeding. Not, it's not that bad, yeah, yeah, we're good. Come on. There, there you go. go. Mm, mm, ow! Are you pinching that? Oh, that's all his claw. <laughs> You'll know when they clamp down fast. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> That'll make your ass water. Ah! <laughs> 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 that's worse than getting punched in the nose. I think I'd rather take both ears and the bottom of my ball sack before that. Ooh! Ow! 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 ow. Oh. <laughs> got you good. Yeah, you got me a little bit. If you listen close, you can hear him screaming. Actually, that's where it came from, really. Yeah. Colin, episode one of food reviews. <laughs> you know, you know, you know <laughs> the deal. You know. One, one tail, one bite. <laughs> it's going to turn into ASMR video right here. Yeah. What are you pulling the poo-poo out for? Oh, it's Leave scaring it. me. It's freaking me out. Leave it. Oh, Damn, that, that season is hitting. Look at that monster. Oh. Right in the back of the throat. <laughs> look at that monster. Oh. Look at him. Yeah. We're trying to watch the solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, whatever the... It's a solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Got two pairs of glasses looking through five percent tint. Oh, dude, dude, I can hold on. Look, put these up and then look through the tent. Like, clear as day, you can see it. Yeah, I wish we had a welding helmet with us. That's perfect. That's sick. All right, so we're gonna get the camera with the ND filter on and with tent. three glasses and tint. Can you see it? And let me switch my manual focus. Oh, wait, and then let me zoom in. That is that is a, such a crisp shot. So all you need is 5% tint, some custom one of one Gator waiter goggles, two of these ND filters, and a $7,000 camera, and you too could have gotten that perfect shot. But you didn't, so that's why I got it for you guys, because you won't see another one for like 173,000. 44 years. 44 years is the right answer.